It's my pleasure to welcome in the head coach of the Raiders, Josh McDaniels. Let's get to the quarterbacks, two exceptional quarterbacks. I'll start with yours and Derek Carr with what you saw with Devontae Hunter and the rest of the squad and the guys who made it and made the team on the back end at wide receiver. Uh, we didn't see Derek in the preseason, obviously, for the right reasons to be healthy in this game. What'd you like about his verbiage with your playbook and taking that playbook up a notch with these great players? Yeah, he learns quick, Yeah, you know, and um, he, he really digests information. He understands when you make a coaching point to Derek, he understands it fully. And if he doesn't, he asks a good question, you know. So when we leave a meeting, I feel very comfortable uh, that he understands what the goal is. Right. Um, and he knows what his job is, you know. His job is to... Uh, facilitate the the ball going to the right guy. You know, if it's a passing game, then we're going to read the coverage out and try to throw it to the right person. Uh, the defense will have a say in that. You know, if they try to take somebody away, we got to be smart and uh, take what they're giving us. And then, you know, if, if it's the running game and getting us in the right place, uh, he's very adept at doing that too. So feel very comfortable about the, the type of work, the quality of work, and the quantity of work he's gotten in practice. Um, and we'll see how we start the season. I know you were asked about that last regular season game. It was a classic. Mm -hmm. It was a regular season all-time classic. And in that game, Herbert threw some just outright bullets yep. on fourth down in that game. And I yep. wanted to talk about their quarterback first and what impresses you on film mm -hmm. with his maturity and how important it's going to be to get a really big pass rush on him. Yeah, he, he does a great job of reading the coverage. Um, he's got some, some really good players to throw the football to. You know, the receivers – are all good in different ways. The tight ends he has he added Everett now uh, to that group, and and they're difficult to to cover. Uh, and then obviously Eckler, you know, does a great job out of the backfield. So um, he he's he's a big play guy. There's no area of the field that he can't touch with right. his arm. Uh, we've made that point very clear to our secondary. Um, when we say defend the deep part of the field, this week it means a little deeper because um, he's got such a such a, uh, a an arm strength on him. So um, we got to do a good job of trying to disrupt him a little bit, take away his first or second read if we can, uh, force him to hold the ball a little bit, and and again play from deep to short. You know, and if they have to drive the ball ten or twelve plays, hopefully we can create a negative play at some point. Uh, to put them behind the sticks and then try to get off the field on third down. And you're very aware, obviously, of Coach Staley liking to go for it on fourth down and what they did last year. Is that different with this coach compared to other coaches? Or are you just prepare for teams that down and distance they are going to take a shot? Yeah. You, I mean, you have to understand who you're playing. Right. And uh, he's very willing to do that. So we, when, we, when we worked on third down yesterday, we called it third and fourth down this week. You know, <laughs> you because, okay. because you just you never know. Sure. Um, you know, and, and so, look, every time that you, you get ready for an opponent, you got to know what their identity is and what their philosophy is. And they've been very aggressive in the past. We'll see exactly how that goes to start this season. Um, but we also understand that, you know, when that down comes up, it's an opportunity for a turnover. Um, you know, because if you go for it on fourth down and, and you don't make it, then the ball's going yeah. to the other team. So uh, our defense has the right mindset. We understand what our opportunity is if that comes up on Sunday. And uh, we're going to try to do everything we can to stop them. Uh, wrapping it up with the defense, you've got a lot of leaders there, just really sharp guys that have these backstories. We talked at the state of the team about Max and how his life has evolved so quickly, and you knew Chandler from your days with the Patriots, and on the back end, Trayvon Merrick seems like just a really sharp kid, young mm -hmm. player there. Overall, do you like the leadership, the aggressive ability of this defense to take it up a notch with Coach Graham? Yeah. Um, you know, our coaching staff has done a really nice job of trying to put these guys in good positions to be successful and make plays. Um, and you're right, the leadership on defense, you know, with Crosby, Perryman, uh, Deron Harmon, um, you know, and then you look at Chandler Jones and Jayon Brown and Trayvon and John Abram. And, yeah. you know, there's a lot of guys that have contributed now to to where we're at at this moment, you know. And we're continuing to grow and learn, um, which I think is an important part of this process. But I'm excited about those guys. They, they, uh, they're coming together. They work well together. They really appreciate and enjoy working with one another. Um, and we're trying to – we're doing some different things. You know, we're a little bit more multiple than what they were in the past. Um, which can be fun once you get it, you know. You so it. it's a process, yeah. though, to get there, and, and those guys are working hard to get it. Coach, last one, I don't think, because you've, you've coached so many big games, but what you're going to see with this fan base in L.A., this is part of Raider Nation. At yep. one point, it was the biggest part, largest populated Raider fan base yep. in the world, and these Raider fans go to L.A. games, yep. and this is the one for them. Are you going to be able to take a step back and look at this that way? Because when the bus comes in mm -hmm. to that massive footprint and when you leave, hopefully with the win, to know that those fans mm -hmm. were there and hopefully made it feel like a home game for you. No question. We're counting on that. Uh, you know, there's no doubt we're counting on that. Uh, I've said it multiple times in the preseason. This, is, uh, this doesn't feel like anything I've really been a part of 
Um, the, the fan base is just incredibly supportive. Um, they're there all the time. They were there in Canton. They were there in Miami. Uh, we know they're going to be there in Los Angeles on Sunday. So uh, our job is to try to give them something to yell about, you know, and, and hopefully we can provide that with the way we play. And uh, so we're hard at work at that, and we know we're going to have them – uh, there to support us, you know, in LA and then throughout the course of the season. So looking forward to, to doing some, some good things here for Raider Nation and give them something to, to be proud of. Good luck at LA, coach. Thank you very much.